Hello, my name is Michael Pickett, and you too can learn how to paint in acrylic. Welcome to my show. Hello, we're here at my studio, and now we're outlining the drawing darker so that the pencil will show through when we do our wash. Now we'll create a wash using our Mars Black and lots of water. Just spread it around there, cover that whole canvas. There we go. And now we'll take our sock and wipe away all the paint. See? Now the pencil is showing through. Now we can get started. First of all, we're going to be working on the background. We're going to be using your black. Just make all the outlines of little rocks. Fill all that in. Go around the edge and just kind of fill it in. Here's more black. We just keep it filled in. Just a lot of little circles. Isn't this fun? Just keep filling it in and keep making circles and outlining the slug. There, we'll fill that in there in the corner.
We'll fill it along the bottom there. See how we're outlining it? Isn't that cool? Little scribbles here and there. And we're kind of outlining and shading as we go. Basically like we're doing black and white. There we go. We got our, our basic undercoat. Now we're going to go with our brown. We're going to use our zero brush. And we're going to use some white. Touch of brown and a lot of white. And we're going to make our, sh our highlights. You see? See how those rocks kind of come out of there? Now we'll do that throughout the whole background. Kind of little squigglies and dots and circles and interesting shapes. See how that's filling in? It's filling in pretty nice. And we just continue doing it throughout the whole painting. Now we'll just continue filling it in. This is a long, tedious process right here, filling in all those little rocks. And that's why we put it in fast motion.
get all that filled in. We'll create the highlights. Now we'll create the shadow. Now we'll take some burnt sienna and we'll add some color. We'll just add some shadow and some highlights and some color. And we'll just blend it in. Now we'll shadow around the rock. You want to shadow along your edges, and, th and that will actually bring it out. You see? Just working on our undercoats. We've taken the burnt sienna and thinned it out, and we're going to go over that white in the background and to warm it up. Add some highlights around it as we go. And we're using our number two brush. Yeah, add some highlights there. And there. Yeah, these rocks are a little damp, so they have some reflection to them. And here we go. Now we're going to work on the snail's shell. It's basically like creating a, a seashell that you would find at the seashore. You would use your darkest color first, which is your burnt sienna. Well, actually, your black is the darkest. But with your burnt sienna, put in your undercoat. Then you would add your white and use it as your highlights and look on your photo to where the lights are reflecting and all that information is right on your photograph. Now to create a wood grain, you'd add your black and you would do some outlining and you would go up and down and shadow underneath. You have your light in the back of the snail. The light reflects where the fold is.
Just add some more shadows. This is so much fun. We'll add some more highlights. A little bit lighter there on the top. Putting a nice little edge along the, the front of the snail shell. There we go. Wow. Very nice. Now we'll get our hooker's green and we'll cover the entire body of the snail in hooker's green. There we go. The whole body is covered. This is all your undercoat. Use black underneath the shell and blend it in to the hooker's green. We're going to take some white and hooker's green and we're going to put it behind the shell on the snail's body. See how that works? It looks like there's light shining behind the snail's body. Now we're going to work on the little feet of the snail. We're going to make really small lines that outline the bottom part of his body, just lines up and down, kind of like caterpillar legs. Now you do some more detail. There's more reflected light on top of the body, so you add a little more white in with your hooker's green. And now we're going to work on the antenna. Basically, you're just using your green to highlight it. Just kind of paint it outward like that. And along the side. And up. And look at your photograph and see where your light and darks are. And then you blend as you go. Isn't that cool?
you work on that antenna some more. There you go. And add a dot right onto the end. Ta-da! All right. We're just doing a bunch of detail here. And look at your photograph. See where the lights and darks are. There we go. It's starting to come alive. Now we're going to fill in the rest of the body. There we go. Just like that. What we did was we put a bunch of dots up and down. The light green dots. And now we're taking our black and a little bit more water. And we're going to lightly shadow on that side of the body right over the top of the green dots. You see that looks like it's shadowed. The light behind the snail. And now the shadow reflects on the rocks. And the reflection. That is so cool. Is Mr. Snail with personality. Add some more detail down around where his feet are. And just add a little bit more green dots right over the top of the black wash. Now kind of lighten it up in the dark, because your dark is never really dark. There's always something going on in the shadows. Whoa, Mr. Snail is really coming alive. Look at that. Still add more detail. Adding all the final touches. All right. We're getting closer to being done. Right. That is looking good. A little more touch up on the back. A little more touch up on the front. A little 
touch there and there. There we go. Now you sign your painting. And then after you sign your painting, you get your black and you paint the edges. That'll give it a finished look. You can hang it up on the wall without a frame. There he is. There's Mr. Snail.